His Excellency Vice President of Nigeria, Pro Osibanzo. Do you understand? Why is you the name on the social media, Instagram, Professor Oshibanjo? I don't get it. Are you ashamed of being the Vice President of Nigeria? I don't get it. Why is your Instagram name Professor Oshibanjo? I don't get it. Are you ashamed of being the, um, the Vice President of the shit O called Nigeria? Then I spotted Ashaju updating yesterday. It was shown on Instagram he was updating that um, the youth are claiming they want to rule the, the Nigeria. Youth are claiming they want to be the president, they want to rule blah, 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 shit. He said if the youth eventually become the president, he said yes, youth will rule, the, one day rule. But if they eventually rule, should they, should they, should they run away? Should they go to hell? And so we shake him out, Saloni, Ashaju, so you were asking we the youth that if we should eventually take over, what should become of you? Should we go and should you go and commit suicide? If there is anything worse than suicide, you can commit. If, if there's anything worse than suicide, you can come. And we are just sick and tired of the same old story. Just now on Instagram, come and see queuing at the station. And yes, there's no hope that they're gonna get well. There's no hope. Come and see, you know, millions of queuing at the, and at the same time, my people in Ibado were discussing on me on, with me on WhatsApp yesterday that for a long day, more than more than weeks, they have not gotten light. That was Iwo Road site. Iwo Road site in Ibado. But the person I know, I knew in Lagos, our own is more than one week. We are, do you understand? We are not blind. And I'm, I'm among the people that is sick and tired of the same old story. We cannot continue to condone. That is just it. Do you understand? How can be, so I was saying, I started asking the person in the words of that, I, I, didn't you have the meaning, the smallest generator? They told me that they don't even know the amount. That means they cannot afford it. And these are people who are working. They said they don't even bother to find out the amount. I told them that before I left Nigeria, it was 10,000 Naira, maybe now 20 something thousand. So I told them, go and find out first, both the second hand and the new. I told them that is the procedure. You don't have to be afraid of finding out of something that you even think is too bigger than you financially. That even though you believe you cannot afford something, still find out both the second hand and the new. Do you understand? These are working class, they are, they are even afraid to face their fears. Do you understand? Due to the bad, bad, um, bad economy, people cannot, you know, they don't believe in themselves anymore. Imagine somebody in the country that doesn't even know how much they are selling the generator because he or she thinks they cannot afford. That is the levity of the destruction of all these rulers. The levity of the destruction of the, the economy, the levity of the oppressing, you know, oppre uh, of, their oppress of them oppressing the masses. We can no longer condone. So I shall do it. Nobody can go. Go do it better. It's better you go and jump into the lake because you are not. You people like you. We are. You are not worth of being a ruler. We are tired of the same old story. Okay. We are tired. No election. Twenty twenty three is the election of self determination. No election. Nigeria is not working. It's not working. It's not working. Nigeria is not working. Nigeria does not exist. It's not working. No election. Twenty twenty three. No election 2023. No election. 